Hello guys, so Jerry speaking, welcome to LJ Peace Free Ads episode number um, 918, today we at until Fairy Odd Gamer episode number 59, Top Gun Combat Zones. And we at this beginning in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. Hang on, we played it. Movies, television, music, okay. Team Night Siren, okay, makes sense, nothing is safe, okay. Okay. Fair Yard Game presents Top Gun Month, okay. Anime by Pause by Fox One for a moment. Um, CJ Destroyer. Musical Rangers by Polly B from the um, Fear and Free. Continue on. Top Gun um, the Combat Zones. Okay. Hello, Internet viewers. I'm the Fairly Odd Maverick. Top Gun Maverick is out in theaters, and I have one more game to cover for this month. Mm. And that game is Top Gun Combat Zones. Mm. Well, if you want to be technical, it actually started off as a PS2 game on October 21st, 2001. Okay. It was then be ported to the GameCube a year and three days later. But only one game came out before Combat Zones and Fire at Will. It was mm. Top Gun Hornet's Nest for the PC in 1998. But mm. unlike Fire at Will, Combat Zones never made its way outside of the US. Wow. However, it did get a PC release in 2003 and a GBA release in 2004. Uh -huh. For this review, I'll be looking at the version that I own, which is the GameCube version. Uh -huh. Obviously because the GameCube has been my main console for the longest time. Mm. But does this game hold up to the franchise it was based on? Let's find out. Okay. Oh no, Titus again? Seriously? <sighs> Good to you Fire well! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. You're fine. Yep, the company behind Firestorm Advance came back to publish this game. It was also developed by Digital Integration. And wouldn't you know it, this is the last game they made before fading from existence. I feel like this game doesn't deserve the Paramount logo, mm. even if it was their 90th anniversary. Now we're at the title mm. screen without any indication of what's to come for this game. Mm -hmm. I can set your difficulty as well as your call sign. We start the game with the first level, oh I'm sorry, ERA. So each ERA has 5 Academy missions and 6 War Zone missions, which automatically unlock after finishing the Academy missions. Mm. Before starting a mission, you get to choose a fire jet as well as a briefing for the first mission. Mm -hmm. The first Academy mission is pretty easy. Just shoot down blue targets mm -hmm. with your cannon without touching the ground. Use the control stick to mm -hmm. pile the jet, inverse vertical controls included. A to shoot your cannon, L to break, and R to accelerate. You can even use the control pad to switch views. Okay. Jeez. At least you have a map that also access your radar, which is actually pretty useful to say the least. But mm. you also have, I guess, another radar at the bottom that shows what enemies are ahead in that direction. I don't know. And by the way, you have to complete every mission in each level under a time limit. Wow. Now, the other Top Gun games had a time limit, so why this? But you also have a counter that shows how much of the mission is completed. And right at the center of the screen shows your speed, altitude, thrust, and afterburner, which is used by pressing R all the way. Mm -hmm. Plus, it shows how close you are to any target, which you can change by pressing Y. At the end of each mission, you're then given bonus points based on first blood or first attack, mm -hmm. how much damage you avoided, but we'll get to that later, mm -hmm. how accurate you are with the cannon, and how much time is remaining. Your overall score determines what metal star you get, bronze, silver, or gold. On wow. the next mission, we destroy all ground targets, mm -hmm. which means you're now equipped with air-to-ground missiles for turning them fire at will. Mm -hmm. Let's fire away at... Whoa! Wait, what did I even hit? This is one of the main problems of this game. If at any point you touch an obstacle, even with a slight touch of your wing, the jet blows up, instantly resulting in a mission failure. Wow. And get used to it, because it's going to happen over and over and over and over again. Oh, and remember the damage avoided bonus I just mentioned? You also have a damage meter, which is better handled than fire at will. Mm -hmm. Oh, and about these ground missiles? They don't hone on to anything. 
So that means you have to be a straight as an arrow in a clear area without any obstacles in your path mm. in order to accurately fire at your target. Mm. And of course, your missiles are limited without any way to get more of them. Mm. So that means the only weapon you have available is your cannon. In the later missions, your other missiles include air-to-air -air missiles that can hold on to targets as long as you're within its range. Mm. Rockets are the updated version of ground missiles mm. and bombs that blow up a range of targets. This is the best weapon, in my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. Clearing all four missions unlocks a final mission in which you have to destroy other jet fighters that contain your instructors. Uh -huh. By completing all the academy missions, you then unlock Era 2, right? I wish, but no. Instead, it unlocks the War Zone missions from that era. Mm -hmm. And like the Master Emerald Collecting missions from Sonic Adventure 2, you have to complete one mission at a time in order to unlock the next mission. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Southeast Asia. The U.S. has been pulling out of the region since the war officially ended, but the process has been slow and painful. Wow. Some of our allies need our help as they attempt to flee the area. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm already halfway through this era, and already I'm getting bored. Mm -hmm. And you clearly see why. These missions are the only mission types you're doing throughout the game without any variety. I mean, yeah, you have different targets to destroy, but these are the same types of mission every single time. Plus, the game's story is very important. Mm -hmm. Why, you may ask? Well, because there is nothing! Mm. The game has no story to follow. Mm. I guess the objective in this game is to clear every mission and earn mm. the right to be the best pilot in all of Top Gun, and even then, that is a weak objective. Yes. Speaking of which, this game doesn't even follow any of the events from the movie. Yes. It's a game called Ace Combat. It's an action-packed flight simulator a game series by Namco that mm. takes place on an alternate Earth called Strange Reel. Exactly. Well, during that time, Ace Combat releases Fourth installment, Shattered Skies, a month before Combat Zone was released. And that game was a huge success. Mm. But Combat Zones? No. It never even got up to the heavenly skies. But instead, it bombed down to the inner realms of the nether region. Mm -hmm. In fact, let's compare this game with another Titus game. Superman 64 is said to be one of the worst games of all time, but at least it had an understandable objective. A yeah, if you watch this um, ABGN and Remix for you guys, the T1. Plus, it's some plot, and it tied in to Superman, the animated series. Mm. Even far as some advanced had one or two characters from the movie. So as of now, I can say that Top Gun Combat Zones is the worst licensed game I've ever played. It has no coherent story, graphics that feel similar to Batman Dark Tomorrow, another mm. bad game but still better than this, multiple unintentional ways to die, repetitive missions, and it doesn't tie into the franchise it was based on. I think what Titus did was take Ace Combat 4 and slap the Top Gun logo onto it, therefore making it a Top Gun licensed mm. game. Completing every mission from both Academy and Warzone unlocks the next era. Wow. By the way, the other era levels include the Gulf States and the Arctic Circle. Which you go with Siberia so I can actually fight again Siberia from second mission. Wow. Well, that's that. None of these games are any good. There's literally no saving grace for this month. Wow. Hmm. I wonder what's inside this package. No one should Let's see it. Let's find out, shall we? Maybe no one can see that. Mm. Alright. I guess I could squeeze in one more game review for time's sake. Wow. So, let's finish out the month with Top Gun Hardlock for the Xbox 360. Mm. So the game is published by 505 Games, responsible for the PC version of Death Stranding, and developed by Headstrong Games, best known for Art Academy and Battalion Wars. Again, we don't get an opening cutscene, but at least we get something better. Yes. A piece of story that follows the events after the movie. Mm. Oh, and there's more. There's music from the original movie, including a rocking rendition of Danger Zone, and even a mention of Maverick and Iceman, even killing them in a mission. So you play as a pilot named Spider, who has just graduated from Top Gun, mm. with support from Maverick himself, now an instructor. He's been transported to the USS McKinley as you engage in missions that involve a blockade of terrorist renegades in the Persian Gulf. The gameplay is actually pretty good. Mm. You can use the triggers to accelerate and decelerate, 
blood analog stick to power the plane. The right analog stick uses the afterburner and even do a barrel roll. The other wow. one is to evade missiles. If an ongoing missile comes towards you, R bumper to change missiles, A to fire your cannon, and B to launch your missiles that automatically recharge as they're firing it. Finally, even yeah. the game starts off with normal control, there's actually a setting in which you can inverse your vertical controls. So I did just that, and that's how you properly fly a jet fighter in a video game. Hmm. Whenever you get close to an enemy jet, you can press X to go into hard lock mode, in which you can really hone in your opponent. Hmm. There's also one of these times in which a quick time event would appear, which feels pretty good if you want to get closer to hmm. your target, or at least increase your missile range. When the radar turns red, hmm. fire your missile and let the target get blown to smithereens. You know what's hmm. cool about yep. this game? I can actually evade ongoing missiles and fire a target at the same time. Yes. And by the way, the air ground missiles can actually hone in a target unlike the other games. Yes. Oh my goodness. I actually found a good target. Yeah. What? What is it, gamer? You know what Packard said he gave me last week? Yeah, what about it? Well, you just gave me what I think is the best Top Gun game of all time. That's awesome, dude. I'm glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> My pleasure. And thanks, Cox. No worries. Anyway, I better head off. Later, dude. And I'm not kidding. This is the best Top Gun game I've ever played throughout the month. Even though I've only gotten to the first few levels, I definitely want to go mm -hmm. back and play Top Gun Hardlock again for a full review. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you ever want to find a Top Gun game that's enjoyable, then please do whatever you can to play this game. Yeah. Everything needed for a licensed game, especially Top Gun, and I'm sure you'll get lots of enjoyment out of it. And that right there is the perfect way to end Top Gun Month. And yes, I have to agree with that. Yeah, 100%. And I have to agree... With this 1%. And yes, um, gamer, um, to say this, I'm a PlayStation person and an Xbox person. I never play Xbox. L. This is what to say the least. Continue on. Even though I've been to mediocre games, I'm so glad that I got to end this month on a high note. Mm. So I suggest you go to your movie theater and watch Top Gun Maverick. I know I will. Until next time, I'm the Fairly Odd Maverick. And I wish you all good luck for the rest of your day or night. Wherever you are. Take care, everyone. The end. How's it going, dudes? Hux here. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you want to get notified for upcoming videos. Well said, Hux. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and some of my character writing on TikTok. And if you like, you can have one of my character writers do a short video for you via video commission. Links to all of those in the description below. So, without further ado, I wish that one of my character buddies could with a video. Mm. Hello, everyone. I'm Scrooge McDuck, the wow. hardest duck in the world. And I'm here because you can support this channel on Patreon. Mm. But I can assure you that you won't be wasting any money for this, because you will be rewarded for your generosity. Mm. Oh, you may ask? Well, how about access to the Discord server? Mm. Maybe your name be featured in the credits. Mm. No? Well, how about some bonus content, like maybe a sneak preview or perhaps an early showing of our upcoming game review? Still not convinced? Maybe this will. I can give high-ranking supporters a public shout-out, like Flash Bigger. And yes. And season Grumbold Magic or the Beagle Boys. Once again, I thank all of you for watching this video, as well as supporting. Hey there, Mr. McD. Oh, uh, hold on a second. Yes, Launchpad, what is it? I heard that game review is doing something related to Top Gun guys, am I wrong? Is that a trick question? Hey, I was just wondering if I could be a part of the Top Gun program, that's all. Launchpad, may I remind you that you didn't even go to flight school? Well, I did take a crash course. Oh, curse me, kilts. Oh, I got to get going. I got to prevent Launchpad from making more clashes again. So that was the Fairy Out Gamer. Top Gun Combat Zones. What do I think about this episode? I think it was amazing. Despite of this bad game, um, Combat Zones, PlayStation 2 being bad, I highly recommend this Xbox 360 game. Even though I'm not really an Xbox get player myself yet. 
That's me, of course. That was the LG3 episode number 818. I mean, 918. Excuse me. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. The next one's going to be LG3 episode 919. Piglet's Big Game. Fairy Odd Gamer episode 60. Till next time. So, Jones and Bob, peace baby. We can watch the guys for so. Till then, say out. See ya. time I failed to really understand it. I never sought to meet the maker of reality. The one who gave the life that which is always happening. But I tried all the time. Was I the one to see things as I do under the moonlight and the sun? Perception is the question, and the giver holds the key.